now I think it's a good time to start our new JS file and I'll drag and drop an empty point.js file and I think we're ready to start writing our point library and just in the same way as we created a new JavaScript object for every time we created and added something new to our game engine we started doing that by creating a new object and so the point also has a object called point in JavaScript function is a constructor so we are creating a constructor for our object and here I'm going to use underscore X and underscore Y and that is because within this object will have this dot x which is the x position of the point and notice I'm adding underscore y because we're getting it from the function and this y will equal actually this is the x of course and this is y and so we have just created a constructor for our point and every time the point is initialized like this for example point equals new point we can pass parameters here and that's what this function will allow us to do the x and y parameters are automatically initialized when we use the new operator Next, the first thing you want to do is obviously to draw the point on the screen in order to do that, we'll create a new member function within our point object. And we'll call this function draw. In the same way, it will equal a function constructor. And we'll want to pass size and color to this function so that we can specify the size and the color of the point that we're going to draw. Remember the GFX variable that we created in the previous step. So I'm going to use that to access canvas because we're going to draw this point on the canvas. And to do that on canvas, we use begin path. For some reason, canvas developers decided to name that function begin path and so the way you draw points on canvas is by actually drawing an arc canvas has a function called arc in order to do that an arc is just part of a circle but if we draw an 180 degree arc basically we are drawing a circle and that's what a point is to draw this arc at the this x and this y coordinates for this point defined earlier. When you start drawing an arc at angle 0 and keep drawing the arc up to 2 times pi, then basically you're drawing a full circle because pi is 1 fourth of a circle and 1 fourth multiplied by 2 is a full circle. last parameter I set to true and basically it means whether you want to draw your arc in counterclockwise direction or clockwise direction for this example it doesn't really matter but I thought I would mention that anyways to actually draw the point on canvas we have to use the function called fill style which will fill the point with the color that was specified by passing it into this function and to validate the changes we actually have to call another function called fill when I was writing this function I actually forgot to include the size parameter that has to go in here so let's include that here and also the fill style is the color of the point that will be filled in on the inside but to add an outline we have to use the stroke and it's exactly the same as what we have just done 
with a fill, except this is a stroke command. And the fill style fills the inside of the point, and the stroke style creates the outline of the point, which is just a line drawn around the circle. We can now close this entire class that we have just created by adding a bracket and a semicolon. And I think now we are ready to see this function in action and draw some points. So let's go back to our game engine. And here I'll create a point using the new class that we have just created. And let's say 100, 100 is the position of this new point. Within our game loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to the point that I just created and call the function draw. Do you remember? It, it takes the size of the point. Let's try out 5 and the color. I'm going to use red. You can use any regular HTML color red or the same thing can be represented by the by this type of value. I'm going to save this and refresh the browser but first remember that we already have canvas initialized here. You just can't see it because it's white but the rectangle is 640 by 480 and so I'm going to refresh the browser just to see what's going to happen and so we have this point. Notice that the value 5 is the radius of the point. It's not its entire width and so the resulting point is actually 10 pixels by 10 pixels. If I decrease this to 2 and let's say change the color to blue, save this file and refresh the browser, we have another point. Now just for fun, let's see how many points we can draw as fast as we can. I'm going to move this inside the main loop and I'm going to change the parameters from 100 to 100 to to random positions 640 which is the resolution of our canvas and 480 so this will give us a random point with two pixels in radius let's try it out let's try that out by saving and refreshing the browser and so we have all these points being drawn on our canvas so all these points are going to help us deal with all kinds of different collision tests visually but one thing I want to mention is that if you want to get a random point anywhere on canvas use math function and random and then random returns some kind of a floating point value between 0 and 1 so when you multiply that value by 640 you get a random value within this range and the same works for height of our canvas. So this is why all these points are being drawn within this rectangle that we specified. And now I'm going to delete this test and move it back out of here. And so the point is that we have successfully finished this class and we're ready to move on to the next subject. And finally, if you want to help me support the series uh, of game development tutorials that I've been working on for over two years now, then you can help me out by submitting a donation. So that usually results in more tutorials and having tutorials produced faster than the regular um, timing which is several weeks uh, but with any kind of support this will encourage me to do it more often um, donations don't have to be any large amounts in anything but when enough people submit them I think it makes a difference so thanks everyone who has supported me and I will see you in my next tutorial